Oh, this is the last thing I wanted to make a video on, but so it goes, and I happen to be a bit spicy right now because I just got back from a trip, and I, what I wanted to do is just kind of sit back, kick back, and watch some things. So I decided to fire up the Xbox, as I do, and we are currently sitting at the dashboard, and, you know, I just went over to Twitch because I wanted to see, uh, in particular... Carcinogen sit playing Resident Evil 4 if he has already. And I noticed they've uh They've updated the crap out of the app and it looks like junk and it just just it runs so bad. Like what what is this? Like I know the app has needed a bit of a refresh for quite a bit now, but did they even bother to, like, just do any basic testing on this? Because this is just awful. And they thankfully did move all the following stuff over here so I can quickly get over to it. But just for being such a contained experience, this is really slow. So there's Carcinogen. We're gonna go ahead and pull up his profile. And again, it's just ridiculously slow. So maybe he played it in this one. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and just start it up. Go ahead and drag the that down. And I press B to go back and it just takes me all the way back to the following. So if I wanna go Watch another carcinogen video. I have to go all the way back over, go back to his profile, and just, you know, it's a mess. Because before it used to just take you back to their profile, then back to your following, and it's just a multi layered cluster shag. So I'm gonna go ahead and cue that video back up, and I don't know, I'm pretty sure you guys can't see it. I also can't pause the video. I have no pause control right now. So, yeah, I have no pause control whatsoever. I cannot pause the video. So, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and go back here, start the video once more. Hopefully, he's not going to mind me actually using his content for this. And I am going to go ahead and I am going to fire up the Xbox app on my phone. Sorry that you guys can't see this. I'm going to open up the remote control, and this gives me a play pause button. Can't do that here. I can't, I can't pause the video. Literally. And I don't know if you guys can see it over the VOD or the, uh, the pre-recording I'm doing here, but on my TV, this looks like garbage. Like, I can't, I can't actually... No, we can't report. We don't want to report the video. That's not what we want to do. But I have no controls over the video. Oh, finally, the B button actually took me back to his profile. Imagine that. But if I... I am pressing the button, and it does nothing. I can't adjust the video quality. <laughs> oh, how terrible this is. It just... It gets me because... Do they not test the stuff before they put it back out there? Like, really? It's looking like the best option I have is to just hook up a computer to my TV, like my MacBook or something, and just broadcast it that way. It's really sad. Because this, like, my Xbox mostly has been my home entertainment device, because I like to keep my PS5 focused on video games. And my Xbox kind of does both, because, I mean, if I, you know, go over here, I actually have the Plex app. If I go down to video, we have everything here. Even if I go back, <laughs> get a little lost here. Uh, not sure where it is, but we even have Cody on here. So that's something the PS5 does not have, which is why I like it saying that this is my actual media consumption device. 
I have all the apps on here, and I do believe there is a Jellyfin app I have installed because I've been playing with that too. So yeah, it's really tragic, and I believe they've updated the app across everything to be this bad. Even Android TV, uh, Samsung Smart TVs, the PS5, if I wanted to just say, you know, screw it, I'll go use the PS5. No, they've updated it there as well. So, it's just a total mess. Like, yeah, I hate this because I just wanted to lay back, watch some video, because I've been in recovery mode from being in Seattle for about a half a week and getting the absolute crap kicked out of me at Comic-Con. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to make this video. I know it's a bit ranty and a bit off-topic, but I'm angry. <laughs> and... This is the best way I have to get that anger out of my system and maybe something productive can be done with it. I don't know. Hopefully you find this somewhat entertaining. Maybe, you know, my loss will be your gain here. Till next time, hopefully I'll have some actual real content soon. I'll see you guys later.